Please use your lights on the stairs and be very careful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lead the way. I had lights on one of them. They were supposed to be dark. I don't know. What? Yep, where are you going? <laughs> oh. Thanks, Chris. You singing? Yeah. I heard a I heard a singing voice. Like someone humming something. Did you hear it? Okay, I thought it was just me. A woman on the stairs. I just literally heard humming. I'm not the really? only one who heard it. Yeah, he heard it too. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I heard someone humming, a woman humming, and he heard it too while we were walking upstairs. I had their voice recording on, so I'll listen to it later. Huh? Like I said, downstairs, most people that come to Waverly already know some of our stories. And most people know the fifth floor is most notorious, of course, for room 502. What we know about 502 is in the early 1930s, a nurse was found hanging to death from right out here in front of room 502. Now, we know that this nurse was pregnant by a doctor here on the hill. The two of them was not married to each other. And in the 1930s, this wasn't supposed to happen. It's a no, no. So we don't know whether she might have hung herself here out of fear, shame, but we don't think she hung herself at all. We was told the baby was found dead in a well system here on the property and it did appear to have been aborted. So we think it was a cover-up for an abortion that went bad and someone else hung her hair. Probably after all these years, we'll never get to find out the rest of that story. But some years after that incident, another nurse was either pushed or fell to her death from the window <coughs> inside of room 502. Now, during the time these stories took place, they kept the mentally challenged out here behind me. This was a ward out here of about 14 beds, all those that had had mental problems and electroshock therapy and what have you. And at the same time they was kept right out here, they kept the children right out there on that wing. So I'm going to let you in just a minute go in 502, take some pictures, look around. I do want to warn you, we don't know why it happens, but we see it all the time. This room just makes some people ill. There's no good reason for it. Can't explain it. It's happened to me. Um, I've seen some people go in and just get a sudden headache. I've seen some people go in and just get very nauseous. On the other end of things, I've seen people go in and pass out completely. And I've seen people go in and start vomiting. So with that, of course you're going at your own accord. Uh, you may go into both rooms. You may go into both rooms. You may use your flash. Please do not exit onto the roof from the door inside here. Just go through these two rooms here, and then you're going to meet me right out here when you're finished, please. Oh, I can't see. Oh. Watch my head. Oh, shit.
Chris? Excuse us. Watch out. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> 